Boss, did you know that you can actually become a UPS partner and earn up to a million dollars per year? Just delivering packages for UPS? Yeah, I'm talking about one million dollars. This is just crazy. So if you want to really learn more about this, I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about how to become a UPS service partner and earn up to a million dollars per year delivering packages for UPS, okay? Let me first give you an overview. So when we talk about the UPS uh, service partner program, you are talking about a program that has been running for many, many years. The only thing is people don't talk about it because people who are in the program are making bank. They're making a lot of money. So if you are a business owner operating a fleet of vehicles, now is the time to join forces with UPS. Okay. And when I'm talking about, when I talk about fleet of vehicles, if you have one or two vehicles, that's kind of cool too. Okay. So UPS is constantly looking for partners. Actually, as a matter of fact, you can start with one vehicle and grow from there. It's all about your performance within the UPS service partner program, okay? So UPS is constantly looking for partners to increase value for their for their customers. And the cool thing is it doesn't happen, it doesn't have to be one state, it's nationwide. Okay, and the ideal partner for UPS, you have to uh, you have a van, you have to uh, you need to have a passion for it. the uh, the shipping industry, the delivery industry, okay? And remember that you can manage your team. You can handle the hiring, development, and training of your team. You need to have a, a strong customer-focused attitude and be adaptive to change. One, one thing I want to say here is that you don't have to have a team to start. You can grow. You can scale with UPS. You can start as a, as a solo uh, owner operator, and then as you as you actually perform really well, you can actually they can actually upgrade you. Okay, this is really good. So when we talk about UPS service partners, we're talking about a program that has been running for more than 100 years okay actually they started running this program back in 1907 when ups really uh, actually was created so right, right off the bat they started actually partnering with the uh, local delivery uh, businesses to make sure that their service is always top-notch okay and so the cool thing here is that you'll be running your own package pickup and delivery business working with ups okay ups will ensure your company has consistent volume each day and they will compensate your company for the average for for the work that you're doing okay so this is a full-time business working five to six days a week okay saturday service in certain locations you'll need to hire drivers and maintain your vehicle fleet okay routes will vary by country or, or states okay however the average service partner will have about 20 to 30 pickup and delivery rides per day per day boss per day okay and you don't have to i mean you can use an existing fleet of vehicles for delivery service however as a service uh, provider you need to pass actually a set of specifications for use so ups will make sure that your cars are top notch okay and the cool thing here is that if you want to become a service partner and seize this one million dollar opportunity today boss you can actually submit your email and uh contact information to uh to to uh, ups uh, partner to the ups service partner program and they'll get back to you but i'll talk about that later on in the show So let's talk about eligibility boss to actually i mean you know i want you to seize this one million dollar opportunity today all right so how do you actually become a ups service partner so you first you got to have a legit business okay i'm talking about you have to be you have to be registered with state authorities okay they do not accept sole proprietorship so even if you are a solo player if you're a solo delivery guy okay i want you to actually incorporate you, you can become a single member llc okay and uh, you can actually also be uh, an S corporation. But the thing is, they want corporations. They don't want like uh, a sole proprietorship. This is very important, okay? You can be an LLC, you can be an S corp, you can be an LP, a C corp, a partnership. It's totally up to you. But you gotta be legit, okay? Being legit means what? You gotta have your EIN, boss. Very important. 
you want to go right now to the IRS website, okay? And you want to file you want to file the uh, you want to fill in the application form and you get your employer identification number. You don't have to spend money. On, don't actually pay anybody to actually do it for you. It's totally it's very easy to do, okay? And you need to have a business address. So UPS wants you to have a phone number, an email address, a dedicated phone number and email address, okay? And remember, you don't need to have a CDL commercial driver's license to actually have uh, this to seize this opportunity okay we're talking about regular uh, driver's license is fine you need to have a business bank account so ups can actually pay you remember this is a full-time business this is a full-time work you and you may work five to six days a week okay so you gotta have a business bank account and remember to have a certificate of good standing in other words, when you file when you file your uh, your corporate your uh, when you register your corporation in in your state, you're gonna have to uh, show UPS a certificate of good standing. It's very important, and they will ask you to have uh, to see if you have all the business licenses and permits. Okay, and you need to have a clean safety record. Okay, so what I'm trying to just kind of recap here for this opportunity, you can start as a solo driver, and as you perform. As a solo driver, you need to be a corporation. You need to incorporate. Okay, you need to be a business. And as you perform, after three months, six months, you can actually be upgraded to actually manage your own fleet of vehicles. And at that point, you can manage your team. You can do do the hiring. You can do the training. So you look after drivers. You need to pay them. So UPS will actually UPS will guarantee you the business. Okay, and uh, you they will pay you. And uh, you, in return, you actually pay your your team, your your, your drivers, okay? I want to I want to dig a little deeper here. When we talk about the UPS service partner, let's talk about the responsibilities that you have. So basically, you have to manage your team of hardworking delivery service providers and a fleet of delivery vehicles. So we have a two things here and this duality is very important you manage your team and you oversee your fleet of vehicles very important so when we talk about your um when we talk about the uh, your fleet of uh, not your fleet your team of workers or drivers what do you what do you need to do you need to make sure that you have the best ups drivers in the country you have to constantly train them you have to hire them you have to train them you have to monitor their work okay so ups drivers have a wide range of responsibilities including dropping off packages at businesses homes or other locations as directed by the dispatcher maintaining a professional appearance and demeanor at all times during interactions with customers and co-workers communicating with the dispatchers about delivery status of packages and notifying customers of package delivery status if necessary loading and unloading packages from uh, delivery vehicles including trucks and vans performing routine maintenance on vehicles such as checking oil levels and tire pressure, reviewing delivery schedules for upcoming deliveries and making adjustments as needed, following all safety regulations when driving company vehicles, okay? reporting accidents or other incidents involving company vehicles to the dispatcher. So this is really, you know, and in terms of the UPS driver salary and outlook, the median uh, annual salary according to the uh, to BLS the Bureau of Labor Statistics you're looking at $52,000 and $500 $52,500 so that's about $25 per hour okay and for the top 10 percent annual salary you're looking at $70,500 okay that's about $33 per hour okay so you your responsibilities as a UP as a UPS service partner you manage your team of uh, hard work, hard working delivery drivers. Okay, you can. You also handle the hiring, development, and training of your team. Very important. You need to have a strong customer, uh, customer focused attitude, and be adaptive to change. In other words, you gotta be because you you'll be actually interacting a lot with customers, right? So the last thing you want is uh, you don't want the customers to be pissed off at the way you handle it. You actually interact with them. And because if you if UPS high, if they hear about that, your your actually um, your status within the program is is in danger. Okay, you might get fired. They might just uh, cancel the contract with you. So you always want to be very very uh, I would say a positive, very happy, very professional when interacting with customers. Okay, and be ready to adapt to change. It's very important. Okay, adapt to change. <laughs> Now,
Now let's talk about the fleet of vehicles, right? So basically, if you are a UPS service partner, you will be handling, you'll be uh, overseeing uh, drivers. This is important, but you also need to oversee a fleet of vehicles. Now, the question is, do you have to purchase new vehicles or use an existing fleet of vehicles? Well, very simple. You can use an existing fleet of, fleet of vehicles for delivery service. However, each service provider vehicle must pass specifications that ups has set okay if you don't have if you don't have any delivery vehicles right now ups will connect you with a provider this is pretty cool okay and uh, so the work the way they work with delivery services they actually uh, pay attention to they will make sure that you have the right the right leasing agency okay to make sure you have uh you have the right van actually and you can actually so you can actually um fulfill your delivery needs to uh e-commerce for example okay you can actually uh so the delivery service networks e-commerce grocery restaurants retail seasonal businesses medical industrial parts tires residential service providers this, this is really good and uh, so ups will actually contact you they will connect you with a provider and you with that provider you have delivery service delivery vehicles that are available for rent or lease in other words you have a range a wide range of delivery vehicles that you can rent or lease depending on uh, your budget and your needs okay so we're talking about delivery vans so we're speaking about ram pro master the chevy express so we have the standard and extended you have the gmc savannah you have the ford transit and you can also uh, get the uh, walk-in vans totally depend on you okay it depends on you and for box trucks you have the mercedes-benz sprinter 3500 or the isuzu 16 inch box truck okay you have the morgan box you have the 25 100 pounds with lift kits totally up to you and one thing you need to uh, to enable or to uh, to activate if you want to make money through the ups service partner program is what we call the last mile delivery you need to have a uh, last mile delivery capabilities okay very important because uh this is when you go you're going to try to differentiate yourself especially if you live in in a in a rural area okay and with the limited capabilities this is kind of cool so this is really good and you you want to have that because uh this is where the money is at because in big cities you have uh it's crowded you're competing with a lot of uh with a lot of other uh, ups service partners okay but when it comes to the last mile their competition really uh decreases <music> Boss, I want to talk to you about insurance. This is a really critical because when it comes when it comes to uh, insurance, you want to make sure that you are up to date. If you want to actually retain your seats within the UPS service partner programs, okay? UPS requires that you have general commercial liability insurance, including automotive and workers' compensation. Okay, so this is really important. Now they said they said that, but based on our research and the clients that we have uh, advised, if you have uh, seven main types of commercial insurance, then uh, UPS will actually uh, approve you. Okay, so we're talking about commercial auto insurance. So commercial auto insurance protects you, your drivers, and your company from financial loss due to liability or physical damage with services such as cars, trucks, and vans that are used for business. Okay, so commercial vehicle uh, vehicles require a separate policy because they are typically exposed to more risk than personal vehicles. So you also have general liability. So general liability insurance is a standard policy issued to uh, delivery businesses that protects them against claims for bodily injury and property damage arising out of premises operations or products. Okay, so this type this type of insurance actually also includes advertising injury liability as well as personal harm caused by someone else's negligence you also have excess liability so this can protect you and your business from uh, unforeseen circumstances so it provides limits that exceed the underlying liability coverage so even that it's even if something happens beyond what was uh, anticipated it will still provide adequate protection for any damages incurred as long as they fall within this highly limits you know there's higher limits set forth by this extra layer of protection so one one thing i want to say here is that when you have when you have all this kind of uh, li liability insurance ups will actually approve you it's more likely that they approve you because 
in the in this industry the delivery industry liability can be uh, something really big okay so you got to cover you really really need to really cover uh, your your ad you need to protect yourself okay think about commercial property so commercial property is kind of cool because uh, it prevents damage due to covered dangers such as fire natural uh, natural disasters and accidental damages like water leaking into the building so that's if you own a warehouse or just distribution center for your delivery business okay obviously you got to have a workers compensation workers comp okay so this is uh the insurance that, that will help cover the cost of wage replacement and medical benefits for employees injured in course of uh, employment you have an umbrella for commercial auto or you can also include Motor, uh, motor truck cargo also. This, this is totally up to you. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, section of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. I'm still talking to you about that $1 million UPS service partner opportunity, okay? And if you want to get into that, you have to be very careful about driver safety. UPS play, they really pay attention a lot to driver safety because they want to make sure that your drivers are safe, that your business is booming, and they are also booming. It's all about limiting risk, right? It's all about just uh, preventing things like lawsuits or whatever, you know? So you want to make sure you need to have a driver safety program within your business. Very important. If you don't have it, you need to have a document that, that actually shows that you intend to actually have that. If you don't have this, UPS is not going to hire you. They're not going to hire your business, okay? So I want to share with you 10 delivery driver safety tips that you need to include in your in your manual, in your documents. So stay aware of sur surroundings, okay? So while driving from one stop to the next on a route, a driver must pay attention to ensure no vehicles are following, okay? Light the way. So especially at night, drivers should park in safe well lit areas like under street lamps okay if a driver is approaching a house or a building uh, with dim lighting they can use their headlights to light the path to the door okay even better avoid evening drop-offs altogether when possible lock up so drivers should always lock the vehicle and carry the keys when delivering a package to the door you don't want anyone to swap packages while the driver steps away okay very important you need to be discreet about physical transactions Okay, so does a delivery uh, transaction include a monetary exchange? If so, you really want to encourage delivery drivers to be discreet. The last thing you want is for nearby neighbors or strangers to see a large amount of money and enough. You don't want that. So discretion is really important, okay? And uh, drivers should carry a limited amount of cash. So in the same vein, it can be safer if drivers carry a limited amount of cash because some businesses even display signs on their delivery vehicles that say drivers carry a limited amount of cash to actually deter thefts. okay use cameras consider installing a camera on the dashboard of, of the vehicle so if there is a damage there are theft or another incident this can protect delivery drivers and help law enforcement catch offenders okay know the road before putting the vehicle uh, in drive delivery drivers should familiarize themselves with the route to reach the destination quickly and safely okay very important consider casual dress now ups will want you to be uh, to have their uniform so this is something that's very important you need to provide training also because this can can include a company etiquette defensive driving tips to prove to actually prevent distracted driving and more and use the body system so when possible send two drivers out for delivery together not only can the second driver give uh, in directions they can also be on the watch for the vehicle and their colleague during drop-offs now let me talk to you about the application so there is an application that is uh, that's very important here so I want you to look on the screen right now boss so here is the so first you have to put your contact information so everything happens from the ups website okay there is a if you go to the ups you just have to type ups service partner program in google and they will send you directly to the link so when you come to this link here is what you have to do so put your your company name your first name last name okay your email and your telephone number and click next then here part of the onboarding questionnaire you have to put how many delivery vehicles you currently have it can be one I said this before 
So 1 to 10, we chose 1 to 10. It can be a 11 to 20, a 21 to 30. It depends on you, okay? Put uh, how many drivers do you currently uh, operate with? It can be 1 to 10. You can be yourself, not a problem. Do you have any plans to, uh, to grow your fleet? We put yes. Obviously, you want to grow with UPS, of course. And uh, you have to put the, the type of vehicle that you currently operate, okay? Click Submit. And here they're asking you in the third screenshot they're asking you how many uh, years of uh, how many years do you have experience how many years of experience so we put all the things that really matter in terms of express in terms of uh, years of experience we put three but if you have more that's fine okay what services do you offer so we put everything like express logistics parcel truckload and warehousing because you want to make money with the ups so you pick everything okay and they ask you uh, your location so we put like new york new york but you had you just have to put whatever applies to you okay and uh you, so you answer that does your company have uh, any warehouse we put no and do you have a government industry or local uh, business certificates we put yes so this is where they will ask you for your business licenses and permits whatever applies to your industry and you click submit okay now it's important that you need to you need to have a clear idea of what kind of licenses you need in terms of your delivery business okay think about state licensing think about local licensing very important think about general business license or permits think about sales tax permits or business number think about certificate of occupancy so those are a little this is not of course is not a an exhaustive list but it gives you an idea of what kind of licenses and permits you need to have very important okay let's continue here with the onboarding process so you can i want you to see right now on the screen so they asking you uh, okay do you have any cert certifications whatever we put the yeah. app and do you have have do you have business insurance i'll talk to you about business insurance I have to put yes 11 do you have a sales team we put yes okay and comments you put whatever you want to communicate with the with the ups team and uh, you click submit and then so here they give you a a summary of what the, the info you have put it so you can see on the screen here here's the first screenshot put continue second screenshot third screenshot and click continue so it's currently going to load everything so you can see on the screen loading and then basically you can see yeah so success you send the application uh, form to uh, the ups service partner program they'll get back to you and you can and um, you take it from there Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I was just talking to you about how to become a UPS service partner and earn up to a million dollars every year. So I gave you an overview about the program, eligibility, responsibilities, the fleet, the insurance, driver safety, and the application. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.